ladies and gentlemen, what's up you guys, Sodge Boss here, and today is my H and I sell predictions by such a boss. Also, I can't really put the H word in my videos because this channel is family friendly. That's why it's concerned in a cell. <laughs> let's begin with the match card and see all my predictions. You're about to find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right I'm really hoping this will be the main event of tomorrow night. This is the Saucer Banks versus Bailey in an H and a cell match uh, for the SmackDown Women's Championship. This is one of the, first, one of the, one of the three cage matches of the night. Um, this match I'm very looking forward to. I'm really excited to see Bailey and Sasha fight to the fullest. This time they actually get to use weapons inside the cage, use kendo sticks, and use whatever they can can inside the cage. Um, I'm just really excited for this match because I love Sasha Banks. I love what Bailey's doing, and I'm hoping Sasha Banks will get the Raw Women's uh, the SmackDown Women's Championship. It's time for Sasha Banks to do this because they have this iconic NXT match, um, which is uh, later on became a fan favorite. This got to be an, uh, another fan favorite for a lot of us. We've been waiting for years to see this match finally. This is Sasha Banks versus Bailey, uh, the rematch uh, inside the HSL cage. I'm very excited. So hopefully Banks will win. Next match right here, we have the Big Dog versus Jey Uso in an H in a Cell match and an I, I Quit match for the Universal Championship. The buildup of this match, in my opinion, was pretty strong. I really enjoyed the Roman Reigns versus Jey Uso the first time around. This is the second time they're fighting each other in the new rivalry. I think Roman Reigns would put a nice beating on uh, Jey Uso. Jey Uso is going to be flying around the cage. Roman will be spearing him. I want to see Roman's consequences so badly to give out to Jey Uso. I'm hyped for this match. I don't know why I'm excited for this match, but I know it's the Universal title. That's why Reigns is going to retain, because JC would obviously would never get the uh, Universal title anytime soon. And also, maybe Brock Lesnar will show up like last year. That was that was horrible. I hated Brock Lesnar last year, man. And everyone's like booing that. Oh, man. Also, the very end of the big news, we have Drew McIntyre versus Randy Orton in each in a cell match for the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, this match is going to be everywhere inside the cage. Randy's going to go through his mind. It's gonna, Randy's going to have some mind games. Drew's going to claim more country. Uh, I feel like this match will be very strong. I'm really looking forward to this match. Um, I'm really excited to see Drew McIntyre um, because, like, Drew McIntyre, his promos lately are phenomenal. Randy's build up on Raw is sweet. I'm really looking forward to this. I don't care who wins this match, even though I'm going with Drew McIntyre, but I'm driven by Claymore. But I feel like this match is when we have, like, I wish it was a last man standing or something like that. Because, like, this match in here, there's no escape in the cage. You can't do anything besides a run around and a fight in the cage. I think it'd be everywhere. It'd be violent. It'd be blood everywhere. It's going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to Drew McIntyre retaining. But I really think Randy Orton can get this, too. By the way, Randy Orton is probably a really strong wrestler. And I really appreciate um, Randy for, for what he does for everybody. Um... Randy's one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, so I'm really excited looking forward to this match. One of the matches got added. The thing I didn't like about each in the cell this year, all the matches were not added until yesterday and then Monday. Um, this right here is Elias versus Jeff Hardy. Uh, Elias came back with his concert on Raw, and then Jeff Hardy literally showed up. Um, I'm really excited for this one. I haven't seen Elias wrestle in a couple of weeks. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to this because... I really enjoy Elias, um, Elias's work. I love what Jeff is doing lately. Um, I feel like it's gonna be a fair, clean match. Um, uh, it'll be a pretty fair, clean match. It's gonna be a typical one fall match or submission. Um, it'll be a fair game for either superstar. I'm excited for both. They're both are really cool. I feel like Elias might be a little rusty in the rings and not competed in a little bit. Jeff will probably be clean as a whistle to go like full out do Hardy Enigma. So I'm excited for this. I I'm going with Jeff Hardy um, for the Swan Time Bomb, baby. I love Jeff Hardy. It's going to be a tough match for both competitors. I think it would be a, a good match to get Elias back uh, into WWE. I'm very hyped for this. Added, this is The Miz versus Otis for the Money in the Bank contract. Um, this match I am a little bit excited for, not really excited for. I don't really like Otis. Um, I love Otis, don't get me wrong. Um, I don't know if they're doing him right as in, right now as a WWE talent, like development for character, characters wise. I feel like Otis is a strong wrestler. I really like what he's doing. I don't really like his Money in the Bank run. Um, I, ever since the Money in the Bank, it kind of fell down, downhill. I love everything he did with Mandy Rose, but now it's separated, which is kind of disappointing. Otis is super funny. I love everything he does in the ring. I don't think it's time for him to get a title anytime soon, because the top, the top talents right now are like AJ, not AJ, um, 
you know what I mean, Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre, those are the head male um, leaders, obviously, and we also have uh, their college champion, which is Sami Zayn, um, leading us right there. I feel like Otis would be better off as a tag champion than a singles component champion, but if you really put him with a belt, I could say the Intercontinental Championship would be a better fit, or the United States title would be a better fit for Otis. Um, I'm not bashing on Otis, I love him, but... I really feel like he's not, I don't think he deserves the money like, that he He literally fumbled it. It doesn't make sense. That's why The Miz and Tom Morrison kind of got upset about that. And then went to court last night with JBL. Um, I feel like it's going to be The Miz getting it because I feel like The Miz can actually have an opportunity to cash in the Money in the Bank contract. Because Otis had this ever since Money in the Bank and he has this for a whole year. Or if they want to do this, Otis can actually, I don't really care if he wins, but Otis can actually cash in WrestleMania. But I don't think the fans would be happy by that decision by WWE. By WWE. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like Otis could do something important in this match, but I don't think it would cash in on Roman Reigns and get the title. That'd be not really realistic, in my opinion. But I feel like The Miz would honestly get to capture the Money in the Bank briefcase due to um, like his talent and his ability on the mic, which is cool. Um, I want to see more of Otis as a singles competitor, more than a um, Money in the Bank person. Because you really get a stand with the Money in the Bank briefcase. He barely cashes it in. He just shows up for a couple matches and he leaves. But that's something with Miz. Miz would be the one, uh, one and only person because he actually got a title reign on him. And he's a really nice uh, competitor to, for a lot of fans, honestly. Sorry. Oh, yeah. How this works. Um... If I get a th if I get three matches wrong, I'll have to do an 80s workout with uh, Richard Simmons. So I gotta film myself doing it. If I get three matches wrong, um, I'm really excited for HNSL, Like I said, also I have some big news for you guys. I got into WWE Thunderdome at 10:30 p.m. Um, on uh, Monday night on Raw. So Monday night Raw is taking me 10:30 from the main event on Raw. I will be there uh, at, at the Thunderdome. I'll be there seriously. Check Sasha Boss out there. I'm very excited and really passionate for you guys to uh, hear that out. I'm very hyped for HNSL this year. A um, couple matches I'm not excited for is mostly the Miz and uh, Otis match. Um, I think that'll be a good match right there. Elias, Jeff Hardy be a good one. All the matches are pretty strong. Um, the one match I'm very looking forward to the most, guys, is the uh, Women's Champion SmackDown Women's Championship, uh, Bailey vs. Sasha Banks. I am hyped for that match, baby. Woo! Hope you guys like and subscribe, it's boss, and thanks for watching. Bye.